Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Microsoft Flight Simulator video. We are currently flying around Kuwait City and today we're going to be taking a look at a nifty freeware application for Microsoft Flight Simulator called Jump Seat Radio. The link to download Jump Seat Radio is available in the description section of the video. Now it, this program is still in beta so it might be rough around the edges but it works pretty well at least in my situation it did. Now the first thing I did when I uh, started Jump Seat Radio is uh, head over to my homeland airport, Kuwait International Airport and uh, brought up the application to see if it works. So let's go to radio and see what happens here. And those are, ladies and gentlemen, real world radio stations here in Kuwait. Uh, Marine FM is, uh, is a very famous radio station and the nice thing about the uh, application is that it gives you the distance uh, from the current location. So Kuwait City, two nautical miles away. Salmi and Kuwait is four nautical miles away. Let's uh, tune into Marine FM. And there we go, that's Marine FM. We'll go to FM, let's go to Kuwait 1 FM. can't play this one we'll go to 88.8 pretty cool so basically you can listen to a real world radio station uh, depending on where you're flying now as you fly uh, you know, different radio stations are going to appear in the list, and then you can switch to those uh, to those stations uh, from from within the list. So let's go ahead and try this uh, somewhere, maybe in the United States. We are currently flying around the Los Angeles area, so let's bring up uh, Jump Seat Radio. And uh, as you can see here, we have the nearby uh, radios here. Uh, for Culver City, Compton, California, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and uh, select one of those. Uh, let's see. Uh, Santa Monica, and we're going to go to News and Culture. Should refund customers the power costs as well as the cost of the 2012 upgrade. And we can turn up the volume a little bit. Nothing up. That would equate to more than $4.1 billion in refunds and damages. The regulators said there were other How cool is that? So you can practically listen to the, the radio uh, uh, of the location that you're flying. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and to fly to a different location now and see what happens to the uh, radios uh, in the but, uh, list. As you can see now, as uh, we fly away from the uh, Los Angeles uh, area, we can see uh, there are new stations popping up in the list, such as Long Beach, Lakewood, uh, California. Uh, so uh, it automatically detects where you are in the game and displays the radio frequencies accordingly. You can see now there's something else that just popped uh, here in the list. Gives you the uh, distance to the station and you can also select the station as, uh, as a favorite. So you can, for example, uh, select, uh, let's say, um, let's see here, uh, what do we have? Oh, we have uh, Long Beach, we have a number of stations at uh, Long Beach, so we can select this one here, for example. There you go. And you can just set this as a favorite channel. And once you go to the favorites, you'll be able to see it. The installation of Jump Seat Radio is quite simple. Just download the file, double click the executable, and you're good to go. It's a standalone application that does not require any plugins or community folder or anything like that. It will run in the background and tune to the radio stations as you fly inside Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, folks, this is pretty much it for this short show today. I hope that you've enjoyed Jump Seat Radio. The link to it is provided in the description section. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in and bye-bye for now.